welcome back to Tony North Easton and as you can see it's a lovely sunny day up here in the loft um, so why am I rebuilding Tyne Dock uh, it's been on a lot of people's minds and it's because of this <laughs> South Shield station um, I'm blaming this because I went out my way to recreate um, South Shields station and uh, the best way I can and um, and now I'm going to do the same with Tyne Dock alright Jarra Road was a little bit um, different because of the space and constraints and being a terminal station but um, yeah it's all because of this station here is the main reason why I am rebuilding the Tyne Dock Station and while I'm revisiting and rebuilding Tyne Dock I might as well go the whole hog and stay in this area until um, I'm totally happy with it um, obviously we got that blank space at the back um, the photos that we've seen in last week's video there's a hotel, we could put the hotel or at least see the top half of the hotel uh, as a re low relief um, building in there, in that area rather than just a blank blue space uh, you can see the docks and the cranes if I just lift the camera up slightly but it would be nice to have uh, at least uh, a 3D building there um, just to break up um, and add a little bit of interest to that area right getting back to what we're doing yes it's platform time as you can see I'm laying down some sheets of paper between the rails which will be stuck down and then we can mark out uh, a template for cutting the MDF I'm using MDF again um, because it's it's because once it's cut sanded uh, and painted the platform's done um, it's it's I think it's it's a time saver it can be a little bit costly but it, it's I think it's a time saver so what I'll do is I'll lie out all the sheets of paper from that point there all the way down to this point here so it's quite a long platform it's just over four feet foot long so we can get quite easily get the four suburban coaches back into the platform when it's done and here is where we're going to break through the wall uh, to allow the passengers go up onto the platform so I've made the decision to put the entrance to the station in the centre of the platform. Um, there'll be steps coming up and once they reach to this point here there'll be a booking office uh, waiting for them as soon as they arrive um, onto the station platform. And um, below underground, you won't see it, there'll be a, a ramp which comes up just between them two bridge buttresses and then which will meet the entrance here um, hopefully we will see some of it but um, we shall see right so moving on to the platform and this is what I'm doing here to create the platform edge um, we're just using this great western um, wagon or van um, to create the line so what I've done there is I've put two pieces of card a two mil and a one mil one mil is for the clearance and two mil is to put the edge back onto the platform um, that I'm cutting off by bringing the pencil this way um, I think you've seen me do this before at so Shields. It is a tried and tested method. Um, I've used this uh, method on the South Shields platform which had 
uh, well two curves really you had a, a convex and a concave curve back to back which is what this has got here towards the end and it's the only way of marking it out accurately yeah so as I was saying it's quite a simple technique especially if you're doing an island platform like this or any platform even if it's a curve or on a bend um, it does work a treat as you can see so all I've got to do now is stick this to the MDF and cut it so that's the platform cut and sanded and shaped and um, yeah it's looking pretty good so far um, I've gone with the passenger um, access to the platform through the center through the steps that I'm going to put in which will tie up with me cutting a hole in the wall there so yeah I'm happy with that so far and um, the ends have been chamfered um, just like a, a normal platform would be so there's only a few things left to do to this platform before we put it in place and that's put the the edging on right so I'm just cutting some strips for the edges of the platform I'm using um, some M0059 millstone uh, this is a Medcalf card um, so I think it's a little bit different what I've done before I normally use the, the darker stone but I think with this once it's um, powdered up and darkened down a bit I think it'll look quite good right so now we're fitting the edges to the platform uh, I'm just using a little bit of PVA wood glue um, just making sure you make sure you get every little piece of the edge you don't want any dry bits otherwise uh, the edges will just come away again and uh, try and marry up the joint if you can with the new bricks sometimes it might just be worth turning the card around to get a better joint yeah that's, that's half decent that joint you can barely see the, the joint and uh, then we just press the card home I'm using the thinner sheets um, for the edge because remember when I drew out the, the platform I only allowed three millimeters for doing this adding the edge and the um, edge and stones as well so yeah straight away this is a better improvement than the old tiny dot platform so I think we'll have a, a thumbs up for that as you can see I've been tinkering <laughs> I've made a thumbs up and I've made a pointy hand so that uh, saves me using pencils in the future so there we go we've got a little pointy hand as well the edges are now glued on so while I'm waiting for them to dry I have put in some tiles um, for the subway so the next thing I want to do is add some steps um, these were left over from uh, Jarrah Road I never got around to using them because I made a different design at the last minute but this is what I want to create going down into the subway so I've made the, the first step as it were and then we'll just carry on it takes um, eight steps to get down to the 18 mil so what I'll do I'll do four steps and then I'll land in then another four steps and then I'll land in and then see how that looks uh, when it's done right so that's the steps made and I think they will fit a bit of a tight squeeze but I think once that's painted 
and other little details I'm going to add to the subway stairs I think that will fit it's it'll push down right so the next thing I want to do is add a little handrail which will go in the middle I've already marked it out so I'm just going to bend up some copper wire drill some holes here here and here and have a handrail which goes off and it looks like it's going to go further down um, as you can see I've drawn some steps here so the is an illusion there that these steps will go down and down and down but we won't see them um, because there'll be a canopy going above the the steps here we won't see this but you never know we might catch a glimpse but if there looks like the steps going further away three steps and a landing then it might might be seen it might not so I've made up my little handrail. It don't look like much at the moment because it's uh, bent in segments, as you can see. So once it's soldered to the uprights, which I've already super glued to the steps, it should look more like a handrail. So as you can see, that there's a hole there, so that it'll go into the hole, and the rest should sit on top. Of those uprights to form the handrail. So we shall do one at a time. As you can see I've got a little bit of flux on them already and uh, there's not much room for error so I'll probably start with this one first, get this one soldered and then bring them all down um, individually as I go. I've already got a little bit of flux on each of the posts, so it's just a case of doing one post at a time. It only needs a little touch. That's the first post done. As you can see, there's just a little bit of solder on there, but it's enough to hold that in place. Once it's all finished, this bit of wire at the end I shall super glue that so I shall do the same again with the second one third one's almost in line so I don't really have to pull down on it so it's virtually in line just got to bring it over a little bit right, so I'll just touch that with a little bit of solder Okay, so the very, very last one, as you can see, I'm, I'm way off, so I'll just pull that down. Don't get all these posts, these three here are at the same height, so it should come down to meet that one. I may have to put a little bit of tension on that just to keep it down. I have to pull it out a little bit as well. So I can just keep that in place. when I solder it a bit more flux on there right when I leave go I hope it won't ping well there you go so there's my handrail done all I've got to do is just super glue this little last bit here on the end. Once that's in there, that will look a treat. Well, I had to paint something blue, and it just happens to be the handrail. So, yeah, so that's a blue gloss 48, and I've painted the steps uh, in a matte 28. So, once that's dry, I'll add some 
weathering powder just to filthy it up a little bit but there you go the first little detail for time dock while waiting for the paint to dry we might as well continue with the edges on the platform so what I'm going to do now is add some 3 by 2 mil card along these edge and as you can see it forms an edge so that will be glued on all the way along this edge yeah it's starting to take shape and this is the nice edge you get when gluing that 3 by 2 card on the edge um, and it does give that realistic look as you've seen with other platforms that I've done in the past um, and then to finish it off the slabs that go along the edge of the platform I've just scribed some paper um, 10 mil by 8 mil um, and then you can still feel the indentation of the pen so I built the paint these up individually to give them that uh, the natural look as it were and even if you're building platforms out of card this is a very simple way of doing your platform edges and um, once the paper is dry it really does leave a nice effect so don't, it doesn't matter how you build your platforms whether you use card MDF this is still an easier way to make your platform edges and uh, once you get it started when you put the paper on just let it sit there for a minute or two and um, while it's doing that it's actually softening up the paper and then you can for, for, form it <laughs> sorry form it around the curves as you go so I'm just coming into the straight now on this platform edge so I'm just letting that sit there for a little bit and there we go it's on the straight edge so you just may have to tease the paper to form the edge and it's as simple as that so that's both edges done now now it's time to refocus on the underpass um, so we've got our stairs with the handrail and um, I've looked into my handy box and I found these these are HO scale and these just fit perfectly around the hole that we've created um, I'm not too worried about this end because the station building starts from these edges here and go out over so the building will be up against the um, balustrade balustrade if you like and um, yeah even though the RHO scale if I put this little figure this double R gauge figure next to them if she'll stand will you stand no she won't right so if I leave that there you can see what I mean it's just the right height and um, it saves me making some up for a change so I shall use these I shall glue these in place after I painted these white tiles I'm going to paint these white drop the stairs in and then we'll finish off with the balustrades so that's the underpass finished um, I have painted up the balustrading uh, with a satin 196 uh, it's quite a, a light grey um, so it sort of kind of mimics uh, a, not, not a marble if you like but um, something like that like a, a, like a granite stone and uh, I've painted the tops of the lamps in a light blue so that finishes off the underpass 
you can see this, the stairs leading down to the arch as it goes away from the platform so what I'm doing now is I'm painting the edges now and the paint I'm using just flip the lid is matte 72 it's like a cementish color and I think it'll enhance these slabs because in the photos they are like a concrete mix if you like so I'll, this will be the baseline colour and then I'll come along later on and weather them up these edges so that looks uh, almost like the colour of the MDF if I can just get it into the camera shot to zoom out there you go so it almost looks like the colour of the M MDF and uh, like I said that will be weathered in in various stages to add some realism to it so we're almost there we're almost This stonework here looks really clean, so what I'm doing is I'm using some Citadel Nun Oil to just take the edge off the card. Now you've got to be really quick with this stuff and the results are instant as you can see. Now I wouldn't linger too long in one spot because it would absorbs into the card and not only that it tends to wash some of the brick detail away if you linger too long so that's all I'm doing there is just taking the edge off of the stonework there see there's some that hasn't been done and there's some with it done and uh, to finish it off I'll just go over again but closer to the base of the stone so once I've done one lot wait till it dries a bit then just go along this bottom edge that's where all the grime kind of lingers and after four weeks it's beginning to take shape now that we have the platform in place it's not quite finished yet um, as you can see I've been doing some trial colours here to get uh, a nice colour for the platform and um, yeah I do like the entrance in onto the platform I do quite like that might not be prototypical but if you can imagine once the buildings are in because I've put a pencil line here and a pencil line here um, so that's where the buildings will start and across the top of here there will be a, like a glazed canopy and then we could actually have some lights put in as well and that would light up quite nicely so yeah certainly different um, regarding the platform I've got a couple of Thompson coaches here which I've been trialling to make sure that the um, miss the platforms really close to the edge there about a couple of millimeters worth to spare and see them with that one there just misses it which is what you need really yeah so we're getting there and it's beginning to take shape right I think that's all from me this week and uh, so far so good thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon bye for now bye why here we are pet we're back home again oh I know here was a lovely two weeks holiday in Blackpool Blum and Nora look what they've done to my railway station they only said they were going to refurbish it. Never mind, dear. 
The bike shed's still standing. At least you can still park your bike. Yeah, but that's not the point. The station's gone. Oh, never mind, dear. Let's go home. I'll make you a lovely cup of tea. Why, I suppose that's something, pet. Come on, then. I still fancy a pint first. Fancy a sherry? Oh, that'll be lovely. Come on, then.